What is up guys? So I want to bring you this video on pricing. A lot of guys in the industry are asking, how do you price? You know, what are your prices? And it's one of the most controversial things is like, how much you charge? And people, you got guys complaining about people charging too much, people, people that charge too little. So I'm going to try to give you guys a, a framework, a foundation for pricing. This is not, you know, the principle. This does not mean that, you know, this is what your pricing needs to be. And honestly, I mainly want to focus on factors of pricing and how to get down to your pricing for your company. Number one, I'm going to tell you, do not let another guy, another man tell you what to price at or how much money you need to make for your business. So that's number one. Now, that doesn't mean don't listen to anybody. If they try to give you advice on pricing, you can listen to it. I'm going to give you some advice right now, but at the end of the day, do not let another man tell you what to price at. But as far as this goes, I want you to know how do you price to know if you're making too little um, or, you know, are you charging too much? So where do you start at? So let's scroll up. And obviously I'm too lazy to use my whiteboard, my physical whiteboard. So I'm doing it on the iPad so I can get this video out. Otherwise, I was going to be too lazy to record it. So let's start off with this. What? Um, the what? What are we cleaning? Okay. Um, let's talk about operations. I'm just going to try to, you know, oop. let me just erase that. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. If I spell anything wrong, I really don't care. Um, operations and costs. Okay, so let's do a quick breakdown. A breakdown, sorry. Number one, what are we cleaning? Okay, we cleaning a house, a driveway, a deck, a fence, a roof. So we need to know the what. Okay, and let's say for the example for this, let's just talk about a house. We're gonna price a house wash. A house wash. Number one. Okay, the what is a house wash? This is not like a question mark. Anyway, operations. So I want to say operations. What is our setup? Basically, what I mean by this operations, what is our setup? Our setup. Okay. And costs. Or, um, yeah, so costs. Let's just go costs. How, basically, dot, 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 how much? Do you know your numbers? Do you know how much it costs you to wash a house? Material costs. You know, the cost of pretty much wear and tear in your machine. Um, you know, the gas cost. So we, in a house wash, we have the, the house wash solution. So the cost, there's a cost of bleach and soap, right? Are you bringing your own water? This goes, in, goes inside with your setup. Um, these are all factors, you know, how, how long would it take you to, to get it done? All these things come into play when it comes down to pricing. That's why everyone's pricing is different. Um, let's also talk about the market. Where are you located at? Because where you're located will also affect the pricing. A price for a house wash in one region can be totally different for a house wash in another region. So as I'm giving you this video, I want you guys to know my region right now is North Carolina. So when we look at a house and I give you a price, don't go, oh my God, I would be charging $500 for that. Like who cares? Some of the questions you want to ask yourself when it comes to pricing is, um, like I said, the what, what is it? How, what is your setup? How long is it going to take you? What are your costs involved? How much is it going to cost you? And then, you know, how does your price compare to the market? And then most importantly, how much do you want to make? So that's another factor. We can, um, oops, let me uh, do that. Okay. Let's go to desired pay. You are your own boss right? You're your own boss. So that means what do you want to make? Say you want to make a uh, hundred dollars an hour. Okay. You want to make a hundred dollars an hour. If a house is going to, and then, so if a house is going to take you one hour, okay. House wash, house wash, uh, one hour. We don't want to just say, okay, I want to make $100 an hour. Oh, the house wash is going to take me an hour. I charge them $100. Not how it works. You need, first of all, your company needs to have a minimum. 
need to have a minimum charge. Say your minimum is 150. Okay, so your minimum is 150. You have a house wash, it's gonna take you an hour, you make $100 an hour. Okay, you wanna um, add in, possibly it could take you a little bit longer than what you estimated. So we don't wanna just charge right at $100 for the house wash. First of all, if we wanna, that means take home. So we have costs that come into this $100. So first of all, we're gonna price this house wash. We wanna make $100 an hour, it's gonna take us only one hour for the house. Does not mean we charge 100. We wanna add in our cost to that. And then we might we might want to add a little bit more profit. So even though it's going to take us an hour, we still might charge two hundred dollars. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but you know, essentially we're making two hundred dollars an hour if we just broke it down. But we have things like insurance, taxes, all that stuff. So at the end of the day, you want to charge. You want to find out. We figure out which one to make. Want to make uh hourly. And then you have to add some other cost into that. So if it's going to take us an hour, you know. Per se, we might want to say two hundred dollars, but it's kind of it's very very variable. So it's kind of like not the only thing we can go by when pricing. But that's just an example. So let's go back up here real quick. So we talk about a house wash, operation, setup, cost. How much is going to cost us to do the house? Um, what market are we in? Desired pay. These are all factors you take. So when you add these factors together, take a few that you care about, and then that's how you're going to get down to your pricing. Some guys price homes by the square footage. Um, you want to also price in, you know, what type of material you're gonna, are you uh, cleaning? Vinyl, stucco, brick. The cleaning process is going to take longer. Is it more tedious? These are all things you want to keep in mind. So let me do uh, give you an example of a pricing for me in my market. Let's go right here. This is a house we actually just did today as of this video being recorded. Okay, so right here we have this house uh, on this picture. This house is uh, 18, 1,900 square feet. Okay. We use the customer's water in my, in my business. And I am a, essentially, I'm not a solo, op, technically I'm a solo operation, but I have one one employee, my assistant, chances on my phone calls, handle, handles my administrative stuff. So I have, basically, I'm a solo, oper, uh, two-person operation, but solo as far as the person doing the, the manual labor. That's my business model. So when it comes down to, Pricing, another factor is your business model. Are you a company that's bringing their own, your own water? Do you have a $10,000 setup? You know, do you have to pay for, your, pay for your rig? You know what I'm saying? Do you have debt on your company? How much overhead do you have? Do you have uh, multiple trucks running employees? Listen, when you have a bigger company, automatically you have to charge more because you have more people to feed. The pie is being split amongst more people. If it's just you... You can afford, well, as far as me, my belief is I can afford to be more affordable because my costs are low. Okay? So I don't, I don't carry water. I don't have a bunch of employees. Um, my business model is lean. It's simple. I get the job done. We do great work. And, you know, we try to be affordable. Anyway, cut the chase. This house, I charge two fifty four. Now, like I said, some guys are going to comment here. Save your comments, honestly. They're going to comment, oh, that's too cheap. I would have got five hundred dollars. Oh, I would have got a thousand dollars for that. Now, some guys, sometimes guys would just be pulling numbers out of anywhere, and these guys who charge these ridiculous prices, they they never leave the driveway. You know what I'm saying? So like, some people won't leave their driveway from for less for uh for anything less than three hundred dollars, and that's their minimum. That's not my minimum. For me, like I'm about collecting money. I'm an entrepreneur. As long as it makes sense, I'll go do it. You know what I'm saying? So this house, 250 takes me one hour to do. This was a one-hour house wash for me. And this is, you know, uh, pulling up, setting up, washing the house, packing up. And let's just say an hour, 15 minutes for, you know, uh, you know, just for a little wiggle room. Hour, 15 minutes, 250 bucks. The math makes sense, right? So that's just an example of how I price. 250 hour, 15 minutes. Makes sense to me, Okay. But when it comes to you guys and pricing, it's hard to like tell someone or get someone else to give you a price on something. I see all the time in groups, people are like, how much would you charge for this? Well, how much I charge does not mean how much you need to charge or how much that should be charged. Okay. So when it comes to this business, a lot of the numbers that you come up with, part of it is going to be labor. Obviously, you have your cost of, you know, essentially like your cost of goods. Like how much does it cost you to wash a house? 
you have expenses, but a lot of this is charging for your labor. So you figure out, you know, what your labor is worth to you. You figure out, you know, how long the things take you to do. And over time, you're just going to figure it out. You're going to wash the house. You're going to undercharge and you're going to be like, and you're going to know that I didn't charge enough for this. You know, you'll say like you you wash in a house, you only charge 200 bucks and it takes you three hours. You're going to say, you're going to say to yourself like, oh, I didn't charge enough. Now there's another factor though. Part of it is getting down your wash time for you guys who are inexperienced. Your initial, uh, you know, jobs are going to take you longer than expected just because you're not experienced in the industry. After you've been doing this for a while, like for me, like I wash houses like clockwork. I can do it in my sleep. So it's super, it's simple for me. Uh, I'm I'm quick at it. I'm efficient at it. So like, I know how long something's going to take me. Occasionally, I might have some hiccups like when it's windy and it's causing me to to have a slower time, got to wait for the wind to slow down and, you know, and apply the solution in between, you know, wind blows. Those are the only factors that's going to slow me down. But besides that, I know my, I'm pretty good on my times, and sometimes I even beat my estimated times. I'll run ahead of schedule. But these are the factors that you want to think about when it comes into pricing. What are you cleaning? What's the process? How long is it going to take you? What chemicals are involved? So at least know your cost, right? How much is it costing you per house or per concrete, per driveway to do? And then you want to look at your market. Do you want to be the cheapest person in the market? Absolutely not. Do not be the cheapest person in your market. But do you need to be be the most expensive? No, I don't agree with that either. I say be reasonable for you and your customer. And also for the people who, for the customers who are are just price shopping, be willing to say no. Be willing to say, to walk away. Some people are only after pricing the cheapest guy. Let them find the Joe Schmo who has no clue what he's doing with his, you know, little pressure washer that's going to cause damage to their home and they're going to be calling you back later to try to fix it. But be willing to walk away. But these are the factors when it comes into pricing. The what? Your operations. You know, what type of sub do you have? How long is it going to take you? Cost. The market. How much do you want to make an hour? Those are the simple factors that you guys can use when it comes to pricing uh, for for your business. Do some jobs. Get familiar with what you're doing. Be good at your work. And once you feel like you're at an efficient standpoint, once you feel like you're at, okay, um, you know, you've gotten real familiar with, with, with your setup, with the job you're doing, then you can be like, okay, you know what? You're going to look at the house like, this is going to take me an hour, 30 minutes. Okay, an hour, 30 minutes. Okay, looking around the house. Okay, okay, this is, you know, you're looking around, you're examining things, the landscape of the home. These are all factors. If it's going to take you, a house can be the same square footage, two houses can be the same square footage and take different times because of the landscape of the house. Could be more plants around that other house. The the architecture could be different. You might have some difficult angles. So every house isn't even priced the same. So you just want to, you know, you want to know these things, get familiar with these things. But the biggest thing, guys, is just get out in the field. You do this long enough, eventually you'll get to a price you're comfortable with. You'll know your own numbers. You'll know what you need to make, you know, as far as to stay to stay afloat. How much do you need to make a month, uh, monthly for this business to make sense for you? And all these things you'll think about when it comes to the pricing. Eventually, like I said, you'll get to a stable point. And you won't even, you know, you won't need help from other people to, to price your stuff. For you new guys, though, hopefully this video helps. Um, I know it's kind of sloppy. I'm all over the place. But just take these fact- factors into mind. Get out there. Get experience. And you guys, you know, you'll make money. And in the beginning, you might lose money. But it's, you know, it's one of those learning things. And as you go, you just keep learning, keep growing. And you'll get better and better. And you'll make more money. All right, guys, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you hated the video, leave a dislike button. I really do not care. (laughs) Anyway, guys, take it easy.